Right. Ooh. I've got me tea towel on my knee. And I'm ready to go. I've done a bit of a sketch. So just if you follow these constructions, I think you'll find you'll do pretty good. It should be sound. Right. I think I'll just do that bit for now. So, you know what? I think I'm going to pop him first. Black. God, this is a bit of Payne's grey. It's just something. I'm going to get some black clouds in there. Cross there like that into there. Nice. Yeah, I think that looks alright. I lost my brush out. I could do with leaving a bit of a a bit of white in as well for me clouds. So try and mop some of this up. Leave a bit of white in there. Let's see what this looks like. Right, then I'm gonna get some bits of blue in. I'm using cerulean blue. Um, right, so like so, that's me blue going in there. Nice, I like that. that bit in there, like that. There. And then as we come down here, it's gonna get a bit more fainter. up to the trees now nah, I think I'm gonna get a bit thicker paint and just go in a bit more that's better because you've got to remember when you're painting it always dries a lot lighter than what you're whacking it in it always dries a lot lighter Clouds. There. There we are. And some nice white fluffy clouds left in there out for me. Alright, let's wash my brush. And wet this side then. So we'll come in there like that, in there, down there, down there, and down there. Sad. Borrow a bit of paint from there. Wop a bit in. Just like that bit. Let's have a bit going through there, a bit there, bit there, and some more down there, and in there. That's it, that's nice. And a bit more of this black. There we are. Wash my brush out. Dry it a bit. And try and soften a few bits and all. Try and write a bit of some clouds and stuff in there. Make that look soften that in so it looks like a nice cloud. Same there, look. Oh, that looks nice. Same there. Take it up to the bottom of that branch there. That one's okay, I think. Soften that in. These here will bring down. Um, right, just got a dry brush now, and I'm just softening stuff in. Right, up to there. Um, dee 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 dee. I think I'll probably dry all right. Dee 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 dee. Soften it all in. There we are. Off up a bit up here, I think. That's it, that nice bit of white there. I think that'll look alright, that should be sound. Right, say a sip of coffee. Let's put in some 
background stuff in there then some background bushes and stuff I thought I'd air chat today while I'm painting I thought I'd make it a bit educational I thought I'd talk about some little sayings so I'm not only educating you about painting I'm educating you about some little sayings and stuff and all like what they are and what they mean and that I thought it might be quite interesting so I'm thinking about a few little sayings I'm thinking about I thought I'd do the most popular ones and explain what this ought to mean to me so I've heard a few people say this stuff um, and sometimes I thought what are they on about what are they on about but now I think I've sort of thought about them I think I do know what they're on about so like for example one of the sayings someone says to me in for a penny in for a pound and at first I'll admit I did think what are you on about I didn't I weren't sure what they were waffling on about but then I thought about it and it has got some meaning to it in for a penny in for a pound so what that means is don't go for the cheapest stuff all the time don't be like a, a skin fling sometimes it's better to spend a bit more money and you end up with better stuff so don't always be a total skin fling and that is what that saying means in for a penny in for a pound you haven't always got to go for the cheapest stuff sometimes it pays off better just to go for some of what's better quality you know and then I keep changing my colours look just keep slightly varying them bushes and stuff at the bottom of me thing in for a penny in for a pound so don't be like thinking oh that's a lot of money because sometimes the stuff what's a lot of money ends up being the stuff what is the best bargain so don't always worry about what's costing the most money and that's what that saying pretty much that's what it means it's about I'm not saying go wasting money I'm just saying yeah be careful with your money but don't always worry about it all the time because sometimes you'll end up you spend more money but you get something better for your money and that's what that's what that saying means. Don't be tight. Esmeralda, she'll sometimes say, my girlfriend Esmeralda, she'll say, in for a penny, in for a pound. And that's what she means. Get your wallet out, Bertie. That's what she's basically saying. So if you miss this, says that to you she's telling you get your wallet out don't be a tight trog i think I might go a bit darker down here because i want to highlight them light bits so let's add and make a mix a bit of a nice dark green oh yes that's a bit in. just chisel the edge of my brush right a bit in there like that. mm -hmm, that's nice and just get the negative painting there 
that's the negative painting for them grasses there. Yeah. And let's line that up a bit as we come up. Right, what's another little saying that people use? Um, let me have a think. Oh, the golden touch. If that were a little like story, that one. Right, this bloke, I think a genie says to him. Right, you can have what you want. This this happened ages ago. You can have what you want. Whatever you wish for, you can have it. So what he wished it for was that everything Murray touched turned to gold, right? But then a bit later on in the story, he touched his daughter and she turned into a lump of gold. And then he was thinking, oh no. What did I wish for that for? Why did I wish my daughter turned to gold? So like, same again. That's not just a story. There's a moral behind that story. So the moral behind that story is, if you're gonna wish that everything turns to gold, right? Make sure that you've put in that wish a little thing that says, except for people. Because I think if you made that wish and people just start turning to gold like everyone who you know, I think you'd probably end up getting done for murder. Or I suppose because you'd have made the wish without thinking it through properly, maybe you'd get off with manslaughter. But either way, it wouldn't be very good. So just remember to put that bit in except for like humans you don't want humans turning to gold so again it's got like a little meaning to the saying i don't know if you've heard any of these sayings before but yeah they've all got this little little meaning to them so having the golden touch i mean if i touched doofus and he turned to gold um, I'd probably just weigh him in and not say out to anyone. Just get say melt him down quick. Yeah, doofus, my stepbrother. I think I'd just say melt him down quick, so no one finds out, so as I don't get done for manslaughter. Yeah. Same if I, if it were Esmeralda, I'd say get get her melted down quick, innit? I'm again done for a bit of manslaughter. It's not my, um, I think I wouldn't have done it on purpose, would I? Obviously, if I knew they were gonna, um, oh, sorry, can't be moving that round, can I? Obviously, if I knew they were gonna turn to gold, I wouldn't touch them on purpose, would I? <laughs> not some kind of psychopath, am I? Put that back up there. Let's get some of these bushes in here now. Oh, that looks nice. Lovely jubbly. Bright yellow on there. Oh, it's going on one there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so don't forget that's the, the moral of that story is if you're going to make a wish, make sure that you um, just like um, 
think it through right, you know what I mean? Don't just make any old wish. Just think, oh, how could this end up going wrong? Might it go wrong? Instead of just making any old wish, think to yourself, right, what could actually happen here? Could out go a bit wrong than that? So I'm not keen on getting done for manslaughter. That's what you've got to think. So you don't want every single person who you touch turn into gold, do you? It might sound like it's brilliant, but after a bit, I think it'd end up going on your nerves, I promise you. It'd just get on your nerves after a bit, as I'm pretty sure it would. If I come in here and put these grasses in, in it. What else were they? Oh, I don't know, another one. The goose with golden eggs. That one. That were a good one. About this goose. And it were laying these golden eggs, right? And uh, this bloke, he were getting these golden eggs. I don't know how he managed to get hold of this goose, but obviously, when he got it, he thought, this is mint. So he got this goose laying these golden eggs and that. And he's thinking, wicked, get all these golden eggs. It's mint. It's absolutely buzzing, he's loving it, right? But then one day he gets this bright idea. Why don't I kill the goose? I know, it's horrible. Why don't I kill the goose? And get all the eggs out on it now, right? To me, I won't kill a goose anyway, even if it were laying golden eggs. If I had a goose what weren't laying golden eggs, I'd look after it, be nice to it, because I like animals. But this prat decides he's going to kill it because he wants all the eggs at once. But what happens? was a bit wrong because when he kills it to me this is common sense he kills it right there's like I think there were like half an egg growing in there where um, it like what it were doing it were only growing one egg at a time to me that's common sense if it were going to grow like trillions of eggs right It'd, be, it'd have to be massive, wouldn't it, if it were just full of eggs and they're all just coming out so you could just get them all at once. It'd be ginormous, wouldn't it? So to me, it must have been a bit of a wally anyway. But anyway, he decides I'm going to have all these eggs at once. So he kills the goose, finds one like baby egg in there, what's not even very big. And then, because he's killed the goose, don't get no more golden eggs at all. So, that one's just like saying, to me, that one's just saying, use your brain. Don't be a biffer. You, I just think that one's obvious. Don't do it. Use your brain. You ended up, win out just melt so I just think what a prat serves him right shouldn't be cruel so I'm glad he ended up with no that's the story of the golden goose right I'm going to have my light coming in this way so pop plop in edge of is that dry put my hand on it plop in edge of this tree here Plenty of water, I think. Let's have this one in and all. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, lovely. Get it there. Get it there. Let's have this one in front of that one. Yeah. Right. Oh, let's get this.
this one in. There, let's get some bit darker colour in there now. Let's see if I mix it in like that. Might well, look sort of barky. Dee 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 dee. Good. <laughs> I think that's got a bit of a shadow colour coming off of this. Yeah, that's nice. Going into that long grass there. <laughs> a lovely job, Lee. Any coffee left? <sighs> yeah. Right, oh, well, I've got another one. The cream rises to top. Now that one, that one is specifically about milk. And what it's saying is, when you get a, like a pint of milk in the morning, and you get your cream, it will go up to the top of that bottle, the, the cream, does actually always rise to the top so that one is specifically about milk that's that one's quite straightforward that one a nice easy one to remember so basically when you get a pint of milk if you want the creamy stuff then just pour it out let it sit still for a bit and then pour it out if you I don't want creamy stuff then shake it up before you pour it and it'll be perfect for you it'll be right nice so that that one is specifically bad milk yeah there it's looking all right in it um can i come back in here get some of these uh these bright bits in. Got some of these in. I'll come back in here. There. Oh, that's some close up grasses in there. Look. Sand. Sand's a pattern, that. There. Um, oh, I might pop in just here, just a bit of a one of them trees. It's just got one of them things growing on it. Bring it slightly in front of these ones, you know, where they've got the green stuff growing up it. Love painting them trees, so it'll be like that, and it'll be a bit darker on that side, like that one. That's it. Scary cool brush. In fact, let's get me a real brush. This. It's a bit in front of these others, so it's a little bit bigger. They look like they're stumpy because they've got all this uh, growth around them, so it makes them look thicker than what they really are. Makes them look a bit more stumpy looking. Oh, 
tree. And uh, no. there. And I'll bring a little shadow off of that. A little shadow coming down. down. So I wants to be at the same sort of angle as what this shadow's at, you see. There. Nice. Right, let's squeeze that brush out. And get some dark colour on it. Oh, that's nice. And just get the little twigs in there like that. Look. There. Like a dummy. Lovely. That's that. Right. Um, yeah, let's get some twigs coming off this other tree then. This one. So I'll come up in with a nice dark edge there into there, and then some little twigs coming off. Dark edge into there. Twigs coming off. <laughs> Twig way up there. And one. Up there. See how my hands are wobbly. That can help you when you're uh, painting this sort of thing. A nice wobbly hand. Let's bring one out like that. Up. Oh, that looks nice, that one. There. Oh, I'll get some twigs on the end of some of this stuff. Oh, bring that out there. Twigs knocking about. Oh, well, that looks good, doesn't it? And then I think, i still got that on that brush. Yeah, some little twigs like that, look. Little tiny, little tiny twiggy bits. Like that. Lovely jubbly, like that. Right. Um, oh, we need some twigs in here now. Let's get some really dark colours. Just to go right up the side of this, I'm thinking. So, talking a bit of Bain's Grey and a bit of um, Bontumber. Let's try them two colours together. Nice, that's looking nice. Oh, I tell you what, I've got one more saying, right? What I made up myself. This is one I've made up, right? It goes like this No man. Has ever enjoyed an holiday with his own family. That's one I made up. And what that one means is if you go on holiday with your own family, probably you're going to irritate you after a few days. Yeah, first few days might be sad, but after a bit, then most likely you're going to get on your nerves. It's like I went on holiday, right? Where I do first. My stepbrother. And from start to finish, he acted like a bit of a prat. Right? I'll just give you a little example, right? We're on beach. There's a sign, right? It specifically says, do not swim sharks, right? So, doofus is like, I've always wanted to swim with dolphins. So yeah, doofus, these aren't dolphins, they're sharks, mate. Totally different animal. No, no, they look the same. They're the same. They're not the same, doofus. Totally different. So doofus insists he wants to have a swim with these sharks. Well, in the end he gets his own way, goes in, has a swim with sharks. Well... He got mauled, didn't he? They just mauled him. He ended up in... Uh, well, we both did, actually. We ended up in uh, casualty. I'd been sunbathing too long and got some, uh, like, really bad burns and that. So I ended up in casualty with that. And Doofus ended up in casualty with his... Um, shark bites, where the, all the sharks had... Got hold of him and mauled him like, you know. So we both ended up in hospital. Um, but 
that goes to prove my point. I went on holiday with a member of my family and ate it. Although if you remember your family's doofus, then uh, no wonder you're going to hate it, because it's enough to ruin any holiday. But yeah, it definitely ruined mine. Want a bit of water in there for that. There we are. Now, what's that looking like? Let me just sit back. It's not looking too bad at all, that. So, I'm thinking now what we got on this brush. Some colours mixed up now. Some greens, some darks, bitter all sorts. Right, a bit more colour mixed in here. Some of these bits I'm thinking. So a few more bits in there, strengthen that up a bit. Let's have a bit extra in there. Let's have a few extra bits in there. Strengthen them bits up a bit. That's it, if you want there. Nice. Dee -dee 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 -dee. That's, that's that shadow coming off that tree there. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Yeah, that could be coming off another tree off there. These shadows here. Um, right, let's water that right down there. And just pop in a few little details into there that right let's get some i think some brighter color for here pop it thicken these bushes up a bit let's do that yeah that looks nice and bring some of this down and here all the way across this is all green it's all greenery yeah To this uh, stick this shadow in a bit better so there's still this shadow here coming across here look into there from off that tree yeah, a bit in there as well. that's nice um, darker in bottoms of some of that there uh, a bit more lights in there off that bit I think we get in to the point where we is about finished in it. There. That's looking quite nice to me. Should I stick some more in there, bring that up a bit closer? Yeah, I'll bring it in a bit. Might make it look a bit better. A couple of bright colours in there, look. Isn't it? There we are. Then we can get the grasses a bit closer. There. We'll pop in Peter and Paul. Two bods looking for worms. Where shall we pop them? Let's have them right at the edge here. Look like that. There. Um, there's no. Oh, I could pop a BD in. There, I suppose that's dry. I think there, yeah. Pop a BD in there. B, B, Bertie D. There we are. A nice little painting. Took to it a bit longer than what I thought it would. But there we are. See the beach. Yeah.